Welcome to our Mantra Breathe, and Sandra Ray will speak on healing prayers today. Right. So I'm going to be praying over you while you breathe, and then um, these prayers will go in very deep because you're inhaling them. And these are prayers that I've written and I do sometimes when I have conditions. Now, if you have a condition in your body, focus on that one thing um, that you want healed. If you have a problem that's not in the body you want to work on, the prayers will also work for that. Although they may sound like they're just for uh, physical ailments, but they will work for whatever the problem is. So um, first I'll be reading some prayers that I wrote, and then I'm going to read some um, prayers I got from a book, Living in Miracle Consciousness. I didn't write those exactly, but I kind of took them and I got inspired to write them from the book. All right, so focus on whatever you want healed right now. And act as if you're saying this. I hereby call forth your beloved presence, Divine Mother, Babaji, Jesus, Holy Spirit, and all good forces necessary. I come before you this day and pray with all my heart and soul and might to request humbly that I am given release of. Now you state your condition that you want to be released of and you can say it out loud. I humbly request that I am given release of. I ask this so I can be of higher service to you, God. I am willing to move beyond fear in order to fulfill your plan on earth. A lot of times we have fear and we have fear of giving up fear. So I actually wrote that. I asked to be able to release fear of giving up fear. <laughs> And of course, all problems and conditions are due to fear. You may not be feeling the fear, but the fear is being acted out in this condition. I am willing to move beyond all fear in order to fulfill your plan on earth. I ask to be able to release fear of giving up fear. I ask for help with the release of my condition help me to overcome fear of death and fear of life. I realize people have fear of death, but they also have fear of life. And people have fear of healing. I've been thinking about that a lot lately because people are afraid of their own perfection. They're afraid of having it too good. They think if, if, if it's too good, something bad might happen. So they have fear of perfection, fear of healing, fear of miracles. So we need to ask the Holy Spirit to help us overcome our fear of miracles. I ask for this help in the name of Christ Jesus and I accept this as done. In God's name, I accept this blessing right now and I thank thee for the timely answer to this prayer. And now, we're speaking to your subconscious mind. Most people forget to include the subconscious mind. Oh, my beloved subconscious mind, I hereby ask and command that you take this thought form prayer to God along with the mana and the vital force necessary to manifest and demonstrate this prayer. And now you take a lot of deep breaths because we're sending the prayer up from your subconscious Oh, my beloved subconscious mind, I hereby ask and command that you take this thought form prayer to God along with all the mana and vital force necessary to manifest and demonstrate this prayer. Now, at some times when we ask for healing and we don't get it, it's because we're being stubborn and our ego is actually in competition with God. So the Course in Miracles text talks a lot about that, that um, if you're blocking the healing, you are competing with God by hanging on to the condition. So all sickness and pain and disease and uh, 
tension and all anything in your body that's not what it should be is where you are actually competing with God. And the Course in Miracles goes as far to say as you are trying to kill God. You're trying to destroy God wherever you are holding on to the condition. So once I had uh, anorexia after my mother died, that was the hardest condition that I ever had to work on. So I didn't get healed until I came up with these two things. Now it took me a long time to come up with these two prayers. And I said, Holy Spirit, I no longer deny you your ability to bestow your blessing of healing onto me. I realized I was blocking it. The Holy Spirit was trying to heal me, but I was blocking it. So I was denying the Holy Spirit's ability to heal me. Holy Spirit, I no longer deny you your ability to bestow your blessing of healing unto me. And then I said, I let go of my power trip of not letting anyone heal me so that I could be the king. So I was saying that I'm giving up my competition with God where I was trying to be the king. Or you could say I let go of my power trip of wanting to be the king and not letting anyone heal me. So those two prayers were was kind of a deep confession on my part. Those are the two prayers that really broke me through. Then I said, I know you, Holy Spirit, can and will resolve this problem by offering me a miracle. I allow this. I allow healing to happen. I give up my addiction to fear, pain, and death. And lately I've been seeing that death is an addiction. I never realized that till last month, actually. <laughs> All this time, I never realized death was an addiction. And uh, I just want to share that uh, when I was in um, Estonia, I, I had a spontaneous—I was had a spontaneous rebirth. We went to the uh, shopping center, and I had just breathed a whole hour to the physical immortality mantra, which I hadn't done for quite a while. And that was so powerful that I went into a spontaneous rebirth in the shopping center. We had to come home, <laughs> and I was breathing. And I actually got down to a memory when I was two years old. I think it was the first funeral someone took me to. And I couldn't understand how death worked and why people died. And I, I as a two-year-old, I thought death was some big force coming at me from somewhere. And I couldn't do anything about it. And <laughs> I was so shocked to have that memory. And I realized that probably a lot of people think that, that death is coming at them from some force outside of them, which of course is ridiculous because we create our own death with our thoughts. And um, so then I had another session on that point and I got to realize that there's only support out there for me, you know, and that was so healing. So that was a recent re spontaneous rebirthing I had. I remembering at age two, I was really surprised. Okay, so now I'm going to start doing these prayers I wrote um, for miracle miracles. The miracle I'm asking for, again, pretend like you're saying this, the miracle I'm asking for right now is to have X totally healed and, or changed, whatever the problem is. I ask for the divine ideal that I'm able to transcend that condition. I need intervention and I need divine grace. I declare I accept it now. I claim it now. I declare my complete perfection and safety without any fear. God, I am ready. If it is your time, if it is to be now, let it be now. Guide me to all that I need to be in my heart, mind, and acceptance of the eternal presence to be a place for the miracle to appear. I know that God in me can work this miracle of healing. Yes, you have to have faith and certainty. So if you're into doubt, then right now you ask the Holy Spirit, I ask the Holy Spirit to take my doubt. Babaji always told us faith is everything. 
And those people that get healed of tough conditions, they, they do it by having the faith. The Great Father is manifesting all that I need. This miracle of healing exists for me at your higher level of operating. I will practice perfect faith in the great all, in all knowing it's being done, even though it has not yet appeared. My word is power. My word is law. What you think is what you get, and of course what you say is what you get. So we're now saying, I am practicing perfect faith right now, this moment. Look and see if you can rise up to certainty that you can solve this problem. You need certainty and faith. And it's a question of getting hold of your mind, saying, please, God and Holy Spirit, take away all my doubt. I am going to practice perfect faith and certainty. I know certainly that I can overcome this because of God in me. To God, all things are possible. And always Jesus said in the Bible, all things are possible. And I always hold him to that promise. Sometimes I get impatient if it doesn't come as fast as I want it to. But you gotta keep holding to the promise that it's possible. I cannot be bound by this condition. I do not agree to accept it. I am one with perfection, which is so great, I cannot be bound by any condition. I refuse to entertain anything but the greatest idea of wellness for myself. Perfect healing cannot be stopped. I no longer want it to be stopped. I let go of all identification with this condition. Don't give it so much power. I bless this condition because it is getting me closer to God. You know, we always said at the beginning of rebirthing, your symptom is actually the cure in process because your symptom is coming out so you can get the attention that you need to give. It's saying, hey, wake up, pay attention to me. You need to change some thoughts. So your symptom is like a gift. I've always learned so much from my symptoms. <laughs> In medicine, they never ever analyze the cause of the symptoms. This is why I left medicine. They give you medication and then you go home and if you're lucky, you're better, but it might come back because you never got the cause. Okay, so right now I bless this condition because it's getting me closer to God. I have fulfilled the spiritual purpose of this condition. And once you get the purpose of it, the teaching, then you can let it go. If you're still hanging on to it, that means you have not gotten the lesson yet. You need to figure out what have I not allowed myself to understand about this situation. God is the complete essence of who I am. God within me is all there is. I reclaim the power of my original divine pattern. I expect to have a miracle. I expect to accelerate. I now accept the principle of perfect knowing. This miracle is the manifestation of ultimate spirit. And the way the spirit in me expresses the free flowing manifestation is the highest order. It is effortless. I want my mind to be free and soaring in joy. Now we all say we want to be healed, but there's a saying in the Course in Miracles that goes like this, truth cannot deal with errors you want to keep. It's a very powerful statement. So that means if you want to keep your error, which is your wrong thought, then even Bob's your Jesus can't heal you because you have free will to resist. You have free will to make yourself suffer, in other words. <laughs> and if you want to hang on to that thought, truth cannot deal with errors you want to keep. 
I want my mind to be free and soaring in joy. I put in my mind's eye the great God miracle I have claimed, the one I am choosing to experience for myself. I love that idea. I marvel at it. I'm going to love the idea of what it would be like to be healed of this whole thing. I rejoice in the sure destiny of my divine idea, perfectly fulfilled. I am depending on divine power to bring it through. You have to work with a higher power if you want to be healed completely. And the Course in Miracles says, if you don't ask the Holy Spirit to come in and help you, then the results are going to vary. There's no guarantee that you're going to have a complete healing. So we're going to ask for the divine power of the Holy Spirit to come through. This connection is all you need. I am elevated into the universal Christ self, the one source of all existence. I rely on my spiritual birthright and stand in the principle of perfect knowing I identify with the I am presence. I stay in perfect faith until it is done. Now that's the trick. Can you stay in perfect faith until it's done? And you got to catch yourself when you get weak or doubt. And that's when you need to do the prayers. I rely on the power of God and I sing the song of praise until all fear has burned out of my existence. I do not waste mindless chatter about the problem. I'm choosing the miracle instead. I trust in the divine capacity and the omnipotence to bring it through. I accept a greater increase in light. And when you are he healing, when you get healed, it's when you allow more light to come in. That's why we need to breathe to these mantras we're gonna play in a minute. That they have a light vibration. They have a high frequency. And Babaji keeps telling me, if you keep breathing regularly to mantra breathing like once a week, then you get such a high frequency that the negativity can't stick on you. I accept a greater increase in light as my higher self pours out its radiance. I know that the universal substance and law will materialize the good I am seeking. I move from I need to I have. I have the healing. I have the miracle. It's easy to keep saying, well, I need this, but you need to say, I have, therefore I give thanks that I have it. I have the rightful inheritance to this good thing. I have faith, love, and trust, and radical reliance on God. My divine father is taking care of all that concerns me. Thank you that I am guided. Let me be increased now. Let me ascend beyond any phase of realization that I've had before. And I allow myself to ascend right now to a higher frequency. And I noticed when you all were sharing your intention, the energy was kind of low. So right now, I want you to raise your frequency, take more air in the inhale, breathe deeper and breathe faster right now. The Father within me doeth the work. I call upon his divine power. I'm making the demand that I live in higher systems of wholeness, harmony, peace, love, beauty, faith, and the allness of connection. This is God's will that I live in fulfillment, joy, happiness. I have this awesome power of faith and courage to transcend any obstacle. The complete acceptance of my vision is already done. This vision cannot help but complete itself. There is a divine outcome. 
I accept that my good goal can come through divinely and perfectly. You imagine it now being kind of in your mind's eye, imagine it working out, healing, or solving. It's either solved, imagine it solved right now. Imagine it healed. Everything works together for my greater good. God is the thought, the activity, the thing, the capacity, and now expected lustrous outcome. I am a miracle master. I am that I am. I live the life of miracles. What I say I am, I become. I'm going to repeat that. What I say I am, I become. God is the life of all manifestation. God is my word, divine substance, and law is the atomic essence and activity of my word. God, I now have your healing. Thank you. You are the only providing action. I know there is no big, no small, nor hard in infinite reality. And of course, in miracles often says, one thing is not harder to heal than another. I had a lot of problems with that being a nurse. I kept saying, well, how can he say that it's harder, it's just as easy to heal cancer as it is the common cold? I couldn't get it. But then I realized, of course, if you're working with the Holy Spirit, nothing's too hard for the Holy Spirit. It's all one thing. So nothing is too hard. All hard walls of resistance are melting. The divine law responds to my belief. I believe you can change this situation, God. I believe you can change this situation. I have passion and determination and a strong feeling of trust that this miracle can now manifest for me in grace. Give me more abdominal faith. This miracle is available. I accept it. I have radical reliance on your infinite power, God. I know you, the absolute creator, are responding to my request. I am one with you. I know only perfect truth, and I stay with this goal. I acknowledge in gratitude that this miracle is mine. So the idea is you have to act as if it's here. I'm choosing to transcend every past limiting habit and thought. I choose the miracle. I choose it. I choose to believe in it. I believe in my destiny as the divine son or daughter of God. I let go of doubt. I let go of fear. I'm choosing to stand ever faithful in my conviction. I keep repeating these things because you need to hear them over and over. Just hearing them once isn't enough. I'm going to insist on this manifestation by the power of God in me. Divine outcome is assured. I am depending upon that which is supremely dependable. Nothing is impossible for me. Nothing is impossible for me. And you have to be very careful. You don't say, I'll never get over this. I'll never get over this condition. I'll never get over this situation. I'll never get over this divorce. I'll never get over this upset. Be careful of this problem you have. If you say, I'll never get over this, there's no help for you then. Nothing can help you. So let go of never. There is no obstruction anywhere to the perfect manifestation of my heart's desire. I declare that divine order is taking place at all times. I claim that principle now. All of God, all of my God, and all of the good is now. I keep my consciousness on high. How great is my God, I accept the allness of God's love. God is my source and instantly available. I think people forget that God is instantly available. I focus on the limitless principle of utmost reality that I desire to demonstrate. I am already the perfection that spirit and I bring forth. The spirit within me can demonstrate this miracle. The truth of your all good is available to me now. Now is the perfect time. 
I am already perfect, whole, and complete. I choose to bring in the perfection of the God divine pattern now. All things are working together for the good. I enter a state of grace. All factors are working together for the greatest outcome. The divine pattern is now working in me. I am divinely guided. Nothing that I think or say can stop the manifestation of this miracle. Because I am working with the word of God, the great law is at work. I have gratitude in advance for this demonstration. I am in the consciousness of love and a high state of openness, receptivity, and oneness with the absolute life principle for this miracle to appear. Again, I move from need in order into acceptance. I move from need into acceptance. I accept this miracle. My divine creator self has all. I now have this miracle for myself. It is here because I am a divine being of light. God is the immediate and perfect solution. I give thanks that this has come about. I do not control the ways infinite wisdom knows and I accept perfect fulfillment. It will be exactly what I want or better. I have asked and I believe I have already received it. I bless the situation leading to the greater good. What I have claimed now for myself is coming forth in perfect ways because that is our God and that is what I have declared. And that's the way the law works. I expect the greatest divine outcome. There is only the perfection of God here. There is only the love and the light of God here. And I give thanks now for the manifestation and the glory of Christ in me. Okay. Those are the prayers I prayed over you. It's my pleasure. I need to hear them myself. Thank you, everybody. We're going to put on the mantra now.